My name is Salim Sadiq. I am 50 years old. I was born in a small village on the bank of the river Chenab in the foothills of the Himalayan mountains. In my childhood, the first paved street was five miles away. At the age of 15, I lost one of my parents. I became victim of religious conflicts and disappointments and social injustice. This situation forced me to move to Europe at the age of 18. I speak five languages and have traveled through about 30 countries in five continents. Finally, I have found my peace of mind and home in Toronto, Canada, one of the best countries on earth. Today, I would like to share my thoughts and experiences with you. I want to talk about beliefs, Mother Earth and us. Us, the six billion people living on this planet. It took us thousands and thousands of years to get here where we are today. We live in the global village now. We have the best communication system that has ever existed in human history. That is a very positive sign. But at the same time, we are facing enormous danger environmentally, politically and religiously. Something is pushing us towards disasters. Could be environmental or world war. And that something is fanatics, extremists of different religions. And also don't forget fanatics and extremists of capitalism and big business and special interest groups. They are no less dangerous than religious fanatics. Don't get me wrong. I firmly believe in God. In Arabic you call Allah, in Hindi you call Bhagwan, in Persian or Punjabi you call it Rab. I believe in God and all his messengers. Every messenger has taught us love and care and respects others. Peace be upon all of them. By the way, I am myself a small businessman who believes in growth and awards and would like to be rich but never at the cost of thousands of others or dead bodies. Those fanatic groups and those who have much hidden agendas are not even 0.1% of us, the 6 billion peace-loving human beings on this Mother Earth. But unfortunately, that 0.1% is always making us living in a fear and a misery. To work together for change and safe environment for all, we have to find a common way that is acceptable to all of us, regardless of religion, color or race. This way is a true democracy. People choose people to be governed by them. If you think I am right, then let's talk about true democracy. Half of the world has no democracy or a fabrication of a democracy. And the other half has democracy. But unfortunately for the last 20 to 30 years has been conducted and dominated by special interest groups for example, like corporate world, large financial institutions, religious groups, and race-based organizations. Because of these groups, our justice system is in jeopardy. We have a very authentic system of justice. But the question is, do you have enough money to buy justice? I have a humble request. But let me ask you first, do you think I am right in my statement? If yes, then what is the solution? What is our future? What can we do to bring everlasting peace to all? Bullets and aggressions can never bring the change we need. Only education, awareness, harmony and forgiveness are the keys to start this change from the grassroots and new thinking within ourselves. So my dear friends, why don't we choose what we have? True democracy and power of the vote to bring the change, we can do it within us, in our families, in our community, in our cities, in our countries. Only then we will be ready to save Mother Earth and bring peace and justice for the six billion people. Let us just simply respect everyone's beliefs and faith. We are living in the 21st century. I can see very clearly Peace, justice, food and health should be available for everyone living on this earth or it will affect all of us. Positive and fruitful changes never come through war, aggression, special interest groups or through any kind of dictatorship. There is no better way to govern ourselves but through true democracy. Please, 
don't choose for others what you don't like for yourself. I said that because some leading nations choose or appoint dictatorship for other countries. If we believe that the true democracy is the only solution for a global village, then let us bring change in our person, family, community and country through the power of the vote. We should participate in the process of voting. No one should miss voting and no one should vote because of color, skin, belief and background. Let us bring back the real spirit of democracy. Everyone should obtain the knowledge about why they are voting and for whom they are voting. Please vote for any party you believe in. But do your homework. Look at their past and their agendas. Do not get trapped by nice faces, sweet speeches or emotional slogans. Enough is enough. Vote based only on your own opinions from the bottom of your hearts. Let us bring back the true spirit and true meaning of democracy. It sounds difficult, but it's not. I give you one example. The federal government has billions of dollars surplus. Provinces are doing fine, but big cities are suffering. For your information, approximately 70 to 80 percent of all taxes are paid by the middle class and small businesses. And guess what? Who is suffering? You, the same people, the middle class and the small businesses. If you need any help or would like to share your thoughts, please feel free to contact us. Let us all just give at least five minutes a week. Just five minutes. Close eyes, think deep and use this time. Then decide to whom you are going to vote. Be truly honest in those five minutes. You have no idea how fast we can change the whole world by changing ourselves. If we all speak together, we will be heard. Enough is enough. It's the time to bring change now to save our coming generations. At the end, I wish you happiness and hope you would develop understanding of today's real challenges and brighter and brighter future for our next generation and generations to come. Thank you once again for your time. I am Salim Sadiq.